and D1. And I really enjoyed, as usual, the noble Lord Lord Coker's contribution um, because he drew attention to the fact that the bill is badly written. I mean, we knew that when it arrived, which is why it's had so many amendments here in your Lordship's House. And it's still badly written. And it is our duty not to let badly written bills through. It means they lay themselves open later to court cases and all sorts of potential miscarriages of justice. So there's that. I, I, I personally think that... The government is holding this House in contempt, and that's why it produces so many badly written bills, because it has a huge majority in the other place. It can afford not to care about how the bills are written and not care about the content of the bills either. Now, uh, the noble Lord Lord Coker also said that he didn't think that the government was trying to suppress protests. Now, I actually don't agree with him there, because I think the government is trying to suppress protests. I mean, first of all, they are expensive in terms of police time and probably clearing up afterwards. And of course, they're also very disruptive and they're almost always anti-government. So why wouldn't the government try to suppress them? But they are necessary for free speech. They are a, necessarily, a necessary part of our democratic pro protest. I mean, I love demonstrations because it's a chance to meet people who agree with me, which is sometimes a rarity. And so, um, so for me, protests are, are extremely important. But for me, this bill is not only an assault on freedom of speech and, and democracy, but it, it is clearly a bill that should not be passed. It is, it, it is badly written and it has bad content. You can't have a vague and wide-ranging definition of what protest is likely to be too noisy or too disruptive. It's going to be a subjective um, judgment made by police officers with their own biases. Don't forget that. Police officers are human beings as well, and they will have innate biases. Um, and, and as we've heard from the noble Lord, Lord Paddock, uh, the police don't even want these powers anyway. And those of us who believe in clear laws that can be challenged in court don't want it as well. Now, I've been elected five times, once to Southwark Council under First Past the Post and four times to the London Assembly under proportional representation. So I understand what it is to have a democratic mandate. I do understand, to some extent, the point of view of the government that feels it has a big mandate and it's got its a right to push things through. But I also understand that this unelected chamber, and it, it, this unelected chamber offends me deeply, and I would like it to be abolished and, and that we have a, an elected chamber. So I'm not happy, although I love being here, obviously, I'm not happy about being part of an unelected chamber. But we do have a mandate of another kind, which is to, to look at legislation and to improve it where we can. And as other noble lords have said, the government is not listening to us. It does not take into account the expertise, I do not count myself amongst the experts, but the expertise that we have here, they do not listen to us. And I think to protect civil liberties, we really have to send this bill back. And it is, I, I have been assured by people who've been here decades that ping pong used to last much longer, that uh, bills did get sent back again and again until this house was happy, that it actually expressed uh, uh, legislation properly and clearly and so we really should ask MPs to look again at this and to really think about whether this is good for democracy in this country and the noble Lord Lord Cormac said you know let's stop uh, you know we can look at it later um, no let's get it right now